In this sicha, the Rebbe is looking at some words of the Alter Rebbe in Igeres HaTshuva, and the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzchok's Ha'ara, his comment on those words. So in the first chapter of Igeres HaTshuva, the Alter Rebbe explains how the main idea of Tshuva, the main mitzvah of Tshuva, Minat Torah, is abandoning sin, deciding you're not going to sin again. In the next two chapters, Beis and Gimel, the Alter Rebbe discusses fasts of Tshuva. The Alter Rebbe explains that this isn't a crucial and essential part of Tshuva, but this helps the Kapara, the atonement, to be in the most perfect way. In Perek Dal, the Alter Rebbe explains that although these fasts are for the Gemar, for the completion of the Kapara, but if we want to understand the real mitzvah of Tshuva and the main idea of Tshuva, says the Alter Rebbe, we absolutely must explain well by our Sabir with a full explanation, the Alter Rebbe says, by first prefacing what says in the Holy Zoyar about the word Tshuva, according to Kabbalah, that Tshuva is made up of two parts, Toshuv He, that the He of Hashem's name should return to its rightful place. Within Hashem's name, Yudke Vavke, there are two He's. So Toshuv He, if we're speaking about the second He, the, the, what's called the lower or the last He of Hashem's name, would, would be the lower level of Tshuva. And Tshuva, as in Tosh of Hey Elo, if it's the higher Hey of Hashem's name, the, high, the first Hey of Hashem's name going back to its rightful place, that's called Tshuva Elo, the higher form of Tshuva. The Rebbe's father focuses, focuses on the words of the Alter Rebbe, where he says that we need to explain Levair Heitev Bar Chavas Habir. And the Alter Rebbe said, the Rebbe's father says that these words correspond to these two levels of Tshuva. Because Levair Heitev, this is generally the lower level of tshuva, but in the Sphiroist, the, the Rebbe's father explains that Levair, or like Be'er, which is like a well, is related to the Sphira of Malchus, the, the, the He of Hashem's name, which is the Shechina. The word Heitev, which is from the word Toiv, is related to the Sphira of Yesoid, or generally to the six earlier Midois, which correspond to the Vav of Hashem's name. So that, and it's all part of the lower level of tshuva. And the, he explains that in tshuva itself we have two parts. We have tshuva and we have baal tshuva. So he says the ba'ir the, is tshuva, the level of malchus, the hay itself is tshuva. And heitev, which is the sphere, is higher than it, that's baal tshuva, like the husband or the master of malchus. And that's, that's levair heitev, the baal tshuva, the lower level of tshuva. Bar Chava Sabir, says the Rebbe's father, refers to the sphere of Bina. Bina is generally ex- connected with elaborate, explaining and expounding, etc., which is the first hey of Hashem's name, the level of the sphere of Bina. The Rebbe asks a simple question. In Tshuva, Elo, in the higher level of Tshuva, you also have the two ideas of a Tshuva and the Baal Tshuva, as the Alter Rebbe explains in, in Lukotei Torah. Tshuva is on the level of the Hay. Baal Tshuva would be the level of the Yud, which is Chachma. Why don't we have a hint over here for the sphere of Chachma, for the Yud? Another thing the Rebbe says we need to understand is, the Alter Rebbe says, Levair, we want to explain this idea of Tshuva very, very well. He says, Behekdim, by first prefacing what says in the Holy Zoyar about Tshuva according to Kabbalah. Now, seemingly, you would read it, it sounds like that he wants to explain what it says in the, in the Zoyar HaKadosh. So we're going to understand Tshuva based on what it says in the Zoyar. But from the wording of the Alter Rebbe, where he says, Behek, I'm going to explain this well, the idea of tshuva, Behek the Mashakasim of Zohar HaKadosh, by first prefacing what it says in the Zohar, it sounds like he wants to explain something else. He wants to explain something about tshuva, and that will be understood based on the Zohar. So how do we understand this? In a more general way, says the Rebbe, we need to understand, that the Alt Rebbe says that in order to understand the main point of tshuva, we need to explain tshuva according to Kabbalah. How is that going to be, how is that to be understood? Seemingly, the explanation of Kabbalah is only going to tell us what's achieved through Tshuva. That the hay of Hashem's name is going to be brought out of Golos. The Shechina is going to be brought out of Golos. It seemingly doesn't add any explanation or addition regarding the actual Tshuva itself, which is basically just abandoning sin, deciding you're not going to sin anymore. But from the Alter Rebbe's words, it sounds like by understanding the Kabbalah of Tshuva is going to help us to actually not only doing Tshuva, but to begin the process of Tshuva. A further question, says the Rebbe. Earlier on, the Alter Rebbe explained how even fasting is only to complete the atonement for the nefesh itself, etc., but it's not part of the crucial union of tshuva. And now suddenly we're saying that for have the actual idea of tshuva, we need to understand all these Kabbalistic levels of tshuva, and not only the lower level of tshuva, but even the higher level of tshuva. 
Generally, the lower level of tshuva is cleansing oneself from sin. But you're saying, no, in order to have the basic level of tshuva, I even need tshuva ilah, which tshuva ilah is really about the neshama becoming united with Hashem to the, to the degree, the same way as the neshama was one with Hashem before it even came down into the body. In fact, this level of tshuva applies even for people that never sinned. Tshuva means returning, becoming united with Hashem. You're telling me I need this in order just to be able to do basic tshuva? How do we understand this? In order to explain this, the Rebbe looks at tshuva tata and tshuva ilah, these different levels of tshuva. Tshuva tata, the lower level of tshuva, Chassidus explains, is generally associated with the fulfillment of mitzvahs. Staying away from bad and doing good. Tshuva ilah is more about learning Torah. Why is that? Because doing mitzvahs is going to be usually associated with what we call the bitul, the nullification that a person has as a result of Kabbalah Sol Malch Hashemayim. I'm ready to do any command that I'm told, even if it's difficult, like a servant to the melech, to the king. This is coming from that aspect of the neshama, the way it already came down into this world, into a guf. It's already a separate entity to Hashem, and it's going to do what Hashem asks him to do as a servant. That's all tshuva tata, which is the idea that the person is going back to the way he was before he sinned, but he's still a separate entity. On the other hand, the idea of Torah is a kind of bitul, which is becoming one with Hashem, because what is Torah? Torah is that I'm speaking the words of Hashem, the words of Hashem is coming through the person's mouth, through the person's throat. He's becoming as if one with Hashem. And this, therefore, is that level of the neshama, the way it's one with Hashem, like before the neshama even ever came down into the body. That's what Shuvah Eloh is all about. Shuvah Eloh is, is about unity, oneness with Hashem. Furthermore, says the Rebbe, in each one of these two levels of tshuva, there's really two levels. As we said before, there's the tshuva and the baal tshuva. Tshuva tata has the tshuva level, and then the baal tshuva level, and so too with tshuva ilah. In tshuva tata, there is the sur meira and asay toiv. Sur meira is staying away from bad. That means I'm still a separate entity for myself. I need to force myself to do what Hashem wants, even if I would like to do something else. A higher level is the Asei Toiv, which the Rebbe explains based on Chassidus really means when a person is involved in his learning and his davening and his other avoid of doing much more than what he's accustomed to, more than what he's used to. Here is where the person is starting to a certain extent go out of his Metzius already. It's a little bit similar to Tshuva Ilah, but it's still part of generally of Tshuva Tata, that means a person is a separate entity. Then we move to Tshuva Ilah. Tshuva Ilah, again we have two levels. We have the lower level, which is going to be they're similar in some ways to tshuva tata, but it's, in other words, it's still somewhat of the person's metzius. This is when the person is learning Torah. Yes, I'm learning Torah, it's Hashem's words. But it's still possible that the bitl is not coming from within myself, that I myself am completely nullified. It's just the Torah is so great, the Torah permeated the person to such an extent that he doesn't feel his own metzius anymore. But it's still not the person himself as, from, from his own metzius completely bottled to Hashem. And then comes the next level, which an avoider would be the idea of Kaddish Atzmucha B'mutalucha, where a person is separating himself and becoming holy, even in things that are completely, completely permissible. Removing himself from his personal desires and needs, etc., which is the ultimate bitl to Hashem, and therefore this is the level, not of tshuva, but we called it the Baal tshuva. The Rebbe says, now we can understand also why this level is going to be connected to the Yud of Hashem's name. Because what's being revealed over here is that deepest bond and oneness with Hashem that goes beyond any sort of shape and form. That is, in Sur Meira, staying away from bad, or doing good, or even learning Torah, there's still somewhat of the Metzius of the person. The person is a separate entity, and he is going to do things to connect to Hashem. And therefore, it's hinted in those three letters of the He, Vav, and He, which each one has a certain shape and form. But the avoid of Kaddish Atzmuch of that absolute bitl, there's nothing for myself at all, is hinted in that Yud, which is like one little dot. Says the Rebbe, just like in the four letters of Hashem's name, it starts with a little Yud with a Nekuda, that idea of Chachma. It then stretches down from there, extends into the other letters of the Hey, Vav, and Hey. In a similar way, in a person's Avoida, the four ideas in Avoida are not four separate ideas. They're all connected to each other. In other words, it starts off with that point of connection, that essential bond that a Yid has with Hashem, which is the Yud, and then it goes into the Avoid of Torah and Mitzvahs, and within Mitzvahs itself, the doing good or Sur Meira. So when a person is missing on the level of Sur Meira, doesn't have Eira, it's affecting not only that lowest level, that Hey of Hashem's name, it's also impacting the previous letters, and all the way up to the Yud, which is the point of the essential bond that a Yid has with Hashem. 
And therefore, when a yid stumbles in a sin, what he needs to have is also the tshuva ilah mindset, meaning to say he also has to remind himself that I need to be connected to Hashem with that oneness of Hashem in the greatest way. And furthermore, the Rebbe says, it's not only that when he does an Aveira, he needs to have the tshuva tato and then also go to the tshuva ilah. But even within that lower level of tshuva where he's accepting upon himself not to do the Aveira, it has to be not only with the Kabbalah, sorry, like the lowest, hey, that I'm going to do whatever Hashem says, but his bitul has to be as a result of the Yud. That means because it's all as a result of really a mamish one with Hashem. Says the Rebbe, now we can understand also another thing that the Rebbe says in, in Igeris HaTshuva, that the return of the hay is to be reunited with the Yud Kevav. That means it's not only about Malchus or the Shechina going back up to, uh, out of the Golos. The Neshama went down into a goof and now needs to go back out of its lowliness. No. Right as soon at the outset of Tshuva, we have the idea to connect all the way up to its highest level, to that Yud. The Rebbe says, now we can understand how when we understand tshuva according to Kabbalah, it's going to help us with the actual mitzvah of tshuva. Because when we explain this idea that the hay, the last hay, that maise bapoyal of tshuva, the low, in, in seemingly the lowest level of tshuva, but it's connected with those higher three oisias of yud kevav, this helps us understand that the mitzvah of tshuva, which is the idea that we're making up, we're never going to do the aveir again, etc. So even though on the one end it's just a Kabbalah soil to stay away from the bad, at the same time, it needs to be connected to those other letters, meaning that it needs to be coming from that point of connection and oneness with Hashem. And that's why it's so important, this whole beer, even of tshuva ilah, that means it should be felt in the tshuva, this oneness with Hashem. Says the Rebbe, now we can go back and understand those words that the Rebbe says, Levair heitev bar chavas habir. And we said it corresponds to the two general ideas of tshuva. In other words, what the Alter Rebbe is coming to tell us is not just to teach us something that it says in the Zoyar. It says, we're going to understand this idea of tshuva, we're going to, it's, going to, we're going to, it's going to help us to, through the Zoyar. But what we're coming to really explain is these words, Levair, Hetiv, Barachavah, Sabir, meaning to say that tshuva has to be in the way of Levair, Hetiv, Barachavah, Sabir. What does that mean? As we said before, that the tshuva has to be in the way that you have all four letters of Hashem's name, all right, now the three letters, we'll go soon get to the fourth one. But the point is that we said that you have to have the final He and, and the Vav, which is the Tshuva Tato and both levels of the Tshuva Tato, the Tshuva and the Baal Tshuva, that's Harchava Sabir, as well, sorry, Levair Heitev, excuse me, as well as Barchava Sabir, which is going to correspond with Bina. But again, the main point being is that even in the lower levels of Tshuva, you have to right away feel those highest Dargas of Tshuva. Says the Rebbe, now we can also understand why he's only hinting to the, to the three levels of tshuva and not to the yud. Because really this level of yud is that nekudah of iskashas, that essential bond that's really higher completely than any sh- sort of shape and form. And therefore it's understood that obviously this is felt in all of the avoida. And therefore when the Alter Rebbe wants to explain how to practically do tshuva, what we need to do, so this is mainly these three avoidas where we have the Sur Meira, the Asei Toiv, and the idea of Limud HaToyer, which is entered in the last three letters of Hashem's name. But there's no need to point out that first thing, which is the essential bond, which obviously is always there in every single part of our avoidah.